Hello students, I am Mom Rose. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell for you to be updated on my upcoming videos. Happy learning! In this video, I will teach you how to solve rational inequality. But first, let us recall that 0 divided by a number is equal to 0, while a number divided by 0 is undefined. We have here x minus 1 all over x plus 3 is greater than 0. Since the left side is already one rational expression and the right side is 0, we'll just have to rewrite this one here. Now we will get our critical values. These are cut of values that define regions to be tested. We can get these values by setting our numerator to 0 and our denominator to 0. In our numerator, we have here transposing negative 1 so it becomes positive 1. While our denominator here is x plus 3 is equal to 0. So transposing 3 from positive, it will become negative 3. These values are what we will be using for our graph. Our graph for inequalities is a line graph. So a line graph is from negative numbers going to positive numbers. This is also like the x-axis of a Cartesian plane. Our first value, negative 3, will make our denominator 0, which will be undefined. Therefore, negative 3 is not part of the solution, hence we will be using a hollow point. Next value is 1. 1 will make our numerator 0, and 0 divided by any number will result to 0. Therefore, 1 is also not a solution because it is stated here, the answer should be greater than 0. Hence, we will still use a hollow point. We are now ready to test our regions. First is copy the given. And we have formed here three regions where the cut of values are negative 3 and positive 1. Let us now test region 1. Think of any point coming from this region. So it could be negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, and so on. For this example, I will be using negative 5. But it's up to you what number you will consider. So negative 5 will be substituted in our given. So negative 5 minus 1, same sign, add. So that's negative 6. And then negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2. Negative divided by negative will result to a positive answer. Next is region 2. Think of a number in between negative 3 and 1. I will be choosing the easiest one which is 0. So 0 minus 1 is negative 1. All over 0 plus 3 is 3. Negative divided by positive will result to a negative answer. And last region Think of a number on this side, 2, 3, and so on. But for this example, I will be using 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. All over, 3 plus 3 is 6. Positive divided by positive will result to a positive answer. Now going back to our given, we are to get the values that are greater than 0. Therefore, we are looking for positive values. So our solution are region 1 and region 3. So we will simply shade region 1 and region 3 and this will be our graph. Therefore, our solution set is x is an element of real number where this portion here, these values of x are less than negative 3 
and we'll just place or and the x values here are greater than 1. Number 2, 1 over x is less than 1 over x minus 3. As you can see, the right side is not 0. So we have to do something about it first before we begin with our solution. So 1 over x, transposing this rational expression from positive, it will become negative. Copy the inequality symbol less than 0. Remember that our left side should only have one rational expression. Therefore, we have to perform subtraction on these two rational expressions where our LCD are the denominators x and quantity x minus 3. We will divide the LCD to our denominator and multiply the answer to our numerator. Starting with the first rational expression, divide the LCD to the denominator, x will be cancelled so what's left is x minus 3 multiplied to 1 is x minus 3. And then, the next rational expression, we have the LCD divided by the denominator, the quantity x minus 3 will be cancelled so what's left is x times 1, it will result to x. Now, we can still simplify here x minus x is 0 so what's left is negative 3 all over we'll just have to copy our lcd and then copy less than 0. we can now proceed on getting our critical values by equating our numerator and denominator to 0. let us start with the numerator as you can see there is no x variable in the numerator so we'll proceed to the denominator. Our LCD is x times quantity x minus 3 and we will equate it to 0. By zero product property, if the product is 0, then either of the factors or both is equal to 0. So our first critical value here is 0 and the other one is from negative to positive 3. Therefore, we will be using this cut of values to have our regions to be tested. Our critical value 0 is not part of the solution because it will make our denominator 0 which is undefined. Hence, we will be using a hollow point. Same with 3. This will result to 0 which is also undefined. So we will still use a hollow point. Now we have here three regions to test. To do that, let us first copy our given and our cut of values are 0 and 3. Let us now get a value from region 1. I will be considering negative 1. So we have here negative 3. And then substitute x with negative 1. So this is negative 1. Negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4 times negative 1. So that is equal to positive 4. Negative divided by positive is negative. Let us now test region 2. So a number from 0 to 3. So we could consider 1. So we have here negative 3 all over. 1 minus 3 is negative 2 negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 negative divided by negative is positive lastly region 3 so i would like to consider here 5 now we have here negative 3 all over 5 minus 3 here is 2 so 2 times 5 is 10 negative divided by positive is negative now looking at our given that is less than zero so we are looking for negative values therefore our solution are region 1 and region 3 in our line graph we will simply shade region 1 and region 3 therefore our solution set here is x 
is an element of real numbers where our x here is less than 0 or our x on the other region is greater than 3. Number 3. x squared minus x minus 30 all over x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. As you can see, the right side is already 0 and then the left side is one rational expression. So we will just have to rewrite this one. Our numerator can still be factored. So we have here x squared is x times x. And then we will think of the factors of negative 30. That is negative 30 times positive 1 or positive 30 times negative 1. Or it could also be 5 times negative 6 and negative 5 times 6. Now, if we will add up each of these factors, we should get negative 1. So, negative 30 plus 1 is negative 29. 30 plus negative 1 is 29. 5 plus negative 6 is negative 1. Therefore, this is the pair that we are looking for. So, we'll just have to write here positive 5 and negative 6. So, we are now ready to get our critical values. Let's start with n. That is x plus 5 multiplied to quantity x minus 6 is equal to 0. Again, by zero product property, if the product is 0, then either of the factors is equal to 0 or both of them is equal to 0. So we have here x is equal to negative 5 and on the other side x is equal to from negative 6 it will become positive 6. Now let's proceed to the denominator. Our denominator is x minus 1, we'll have to equate it to 0. So our x here is from negative 1 to positive 1. So we have here negative 5, 6, and 1. So if we have here our line graph, we will write first negative numbers going to 0, going to positive numbers. So we will start with negative 5, and then 1 before 6. Now negative 5 will make our expression 0 but it's here greater than or equal to 0. So it is still accepted as a solution so we will be using a shaded point. Now our critical value 1 will make our denominator undefined. Therefore this is not part of the solution so we will be using a hollow point. Now, 6 will also make our entire expression 0, but it's still okay since we are looking for greater than or equal to 0. So, we will be using here a shaded point. Now, using our given, we will test out these four regions wherein our boundaries are negative 5, 1, and 6. So, let us now select a value from region 1. I will be considering here negative 6. So we will be substituting negative 6 here. Negative 6 plus 5 is negative 1. Negative 6 minus 6 is negative 12. So negative 12 times negative 1 is positive 12. And then negative 6 minus 1 is negative 7. So positive divided by negative is negative. Now from region 2, I will be considering the easiest which is 0. So this will be 5 and this will be negative 6. So 5 times negative 6 is negative 30 all over. That is 0 minus negative 1 is negative 1. Negative divided by negative is positive. Now from region 3, I will be considering 2. So, 2 plus 5 is 7, 2 minus 6 is negative 4, so 7 times negative 4 is negative 28, all over 2 minus 1 is 
1. Now negative divided by positive is negative. Now for our last region, I'll be considering 7. So 7 plus 5 is 12. And then 7 minus 6 is 1. 12 times 1 is 12. All over 7 minus 1 is positive 6. Positive divided by positive is positive. Now going back to our given, we are looking for greater than or equal to 0. So we are looking for positive values. So we have here region 2 and region 4. Therefore, our solution set is x is an element of real numbers where x is in between negative 5 and 1 or our x here is greater than 6. Now, as you can see, we have shaded point here. So, we will place bar here and there's no bar in that hollow point and we will be placing another bar here. So this is our final answer. That is all for today. Thank you and see you on our next video lessons.